Crypto family, welcome back to the Mama Brick channel. We've gotten to that point where it's hard. It's hard to start to distinct, to, to draw that distinction between what the real projects are and what the phonies are, what the scam projects are. We've reached an influx in the market. There's so much dumb money flowing into the market right now. I refer to this as super, super dumb money because we were, the po we were at a point where essentially Bitcoin right now is $63,200. And of course, everyone expects this to keep going forever. Maybe. I mean, I think the more emotion, the less emotional you are around these markets, the less emotion that you put in this, in this market when you try to trade, when you look at how things are being developed, when you look at how the trend is going. I think that's when you develop that thick skin to kind of see what's going on but i mean it looks beautiful don't get me wrong the markets are green um bitcoin is pretty much sixty three thousand one hundred eighty. it's on its way to well i guess almost sixty four thousand, which is amazing um ethereum binance i mean these projects have utility bitcoin is being used in el salvador um it's getting more and more adopted we're seeing uh companies like ftx that are basically embedding all these derivatives equities and type synthetic type assets into their platform that is their mo basically one of the um, most valued companies out there at, at some point they were valued about 19 billion dollars these guys are spreading their investment so we're seeing things like that with we're seeing ethereum trying to upgrade but guys i wouldn't touch ethereum for now as regards transactions and all that the uh transaction costs are way too high we're seeing a lot of talk around of course cardano look at cardano 2.12 dollars guys i'm not going to go through all these prices of these cryptocurrencies all i'm saying the crypto market is extremely bullish now but when we see things like shiba inu and all that um skyrocket thousands of percentages you know what's going to happen people are going to start forming into these things right now which is you know everything looks everything looks all good right now until you have the bear market but i'm not here i'm not an agent of doom all i'm saying is that those that have ears listen and just try to be cautious but don't forget to have fun this is crypto so guys i'm going to try to keep this video short but i think there's some really important things that we need to see um for those that watch this channel a lot we like talking about fish.ai why because personally they have some amazing technology they have a really hard working team i'm not saying other projects do not have that but i learn a lot from this project in terms of their approach in terms of the partnerships they make in terms of um the the usability the use cases the inter the the iteration of different services they can provide and before i did this video this announcement came out like a few minutes ago maybe 10 minutes ago look at this tweet here we're looking to connect with people with ride hailing personal food delivery experience guys actually before i go into this in today's video we're going to look at the fetch um, agent we're going to quickly browse through that because that's some aspect that extreme that that is growing quite surprisingly well so for those that do not know fetch.ai has these uh, autonomous economic agents it has this um, infrastructure and environment which is a call, which is called an open economic framework where these agents can interact with each other so they're using th that technology to develop this decentralized delivery network but they also, they've also used that technology to develop other things like collective learning basically using machine learning artificial intelligence and also a DeFi agent that automates the smart contract kind of thing so if you want to extract your liquidity from a smart contract in case of a flash loan attack in case of a, um, a rug pull attack you, this DeFi agent can automate this process for you no it just it's not that it can but it, it will because it exists so that's what we're going to talk about in this video but there was this pretty cool announcement we're looking to connect with people uh with ride hailing personal food delivery experience we're not talking about programmers we're talking about people that grab bikes and then do this kind of service so pretty much elastic elastic labor anyone can do this so this is interesting so if interested please fill in p fill out this form so you can see here there's an attachment of a google form you can fill in uh, i opened it here so you can see the fetch ddn community form what does ddn mean it's a decentralized delivery network now this is one of the reasons why i'm excited about fetch because of their capability to iterate and to bring about these kinds of clues that are really interesting because these guys are trying to build a decentralized delivery service so essentially your uber 
but without centralized servers, without centralized control, and they have decentralized um, identities embedded in there. So there's sovereignty of your identity. You have sole control, sovereign control of your identity, cannot be taken away, cannot be changed. It's mutable. It's pretty much like an NFT, cannot be changed. It's part of the blockchain. So they have all this stuff embedded in there. So when you see an announcement like this, they're calling out for people to participate in this potentially this potential product that they might launch anytime soon this is just a clue uh we see that they're really building something in the background and we're going to see how that reflects in in what we're going to see next so this is pretty exciting stuff fisher is looking for people that are interested in delivery i think they're cooking something in the background guys this is an amazing clue it just came in a few minutes ago now there's this amazing website it's called coinrank.app i'm sure a lot of you know it but i'll confess Today was the first time I came uh, across this app. Obviously, this was a retweet. I don't remember who retweeted it, but basically you can come and look at your different tokens, try to evaluate them. So basically on this site, they have an evaluation metric and this is a summary of it. They use the market capitalization, so price times circular in supply. They use a trading volume of the particular cryptocurrency or ecosystem, the turnover ratio or volume over the market cap, exchanges, currency pairs, and trusted exchanges. In other words, what are the network effects of this particular currency? How far has it, what is its reach in, in, in the community, out there, technology, innovation, and all that stuff? Then uh, development ranking, they look at commits, basically GitHub, uh, weekly, monthly, yearly, lines of code, added, subtracted. Guys, a ton of lines of code does not mean you have a good product. You know, the simplest and smallest code often represent the most complicated stuff or complex stuff. So they also use a social ranking type of metric where we have the Reddit subscribers, Twitter followers, and so on. Of course, you guys know this count. You've seen, with, uh, you've seen this with Shiba Inu, uh, Elon Musk pumping Dogecoin. So network effect is a very, you've also heard of Metacap's law, which is the, uh, the value of a network being proportional to the square of a particular, um, the user, the user, the users of that particular network. That kind of is directly proportional to the value of that network. So that's why this platform uses those metrics. And that's how they come up with this fundamental rank of 96 for Fetch.ai, which is pretty amazing. That's like essentially four away from 100. Uh, they have a developer rank, which is at 93%, looking at the people, the team, what are they doing? A social rank, Twitter, Reddit, a GitHub, Discord, um, whatever, Slack, Telegram, um, whatever. So they get a 91. I think they've been pretty active. It's one of the most active communities. And we have the coin rank, which is an average, I guess, of 95. So this is a rank they've given them. And when you go through this, you can see basically they explain, uh, of course, what Fetch.ai is, autonomous economic agents, open economic framework, delivery, artificialist, machine learning. I'm not just throwing around um, uh, buzzwords. This is actually what they do. And these are the products they're building. And that's why it's one of the uh, biggest names as far as innovation is concerned in using the idea of multi-agent systems this exists in in artificial intelligence when you when you see things like regressive neural networks so that's why i'm extremely bullish guys on face.ai their innovation to me looks like the way ethereum was in the start but hey do your own research so this was a pretty exciting website um they, they, they try to be as transparent as possible at least in my opinion and because i've been in the fetch community for a while so you guys if you want to check it out it's coinrank.app, then uh, slash asset slash fetch.ai, but I think you can look for other assets as well. And um, one of the links they gave, essentially, if you look down here, you can look at some of the things uh, um, like the some of the most recent announcements that fetch.ai has made, which is, for example, sponsoring the Cosmosm 1.0 security audit. So Cosmos ecosystem, they have this Cosmosm technology, which is basically supposed to enable smart contract on the Cosmos ecosystem. And Fisher AI is, has been one of the main sponsors or the actual sponsor of audits of these, um, of the code that's supposed to govern this. So it's pretty amazing. The spreading, um, the name is getting spread out. The awareness is getting spread out. Uh, more relevance is getting spread out in this network. So all publicity is good publicity. And, um, this is basically these guys that wrote that analysis. When you click one of the links they sent, it leads you to BI23. And then you find out that BI23 Labs is one of the validators on the Fetch.ai network. So, which means these guys have a reputation to keep. When you come to the website, you can see that their MO is crypto asset service platform, a trusted proof of stake infrastructure provider and validator to comfortably stake your tokens. So these guys have a lot at stake. You can see they're staking on Celo, Cosmos, IrisNet, uh, Terra, essentially building a business around this. So they have a narrative to protect. So, I mean, 
if they were spreading out false information out there, they would only tarnish their name. They've got a reputation to keep as validators. So, you know, don't take my word for it, but rather the people that are involved. And this is a, another list of the validators. This is something exciting that's happened as well. You know, we've been pushing out for the decentralization of the Fed network because a few of the tokens, a few of the players, validators like the top five validators have been controlling all the stake on the network. But as you, as you can open the validator, when you open the validator page now, you notice that there's been a dramatic spread of the tokens across the network. I mean, I don't think we've achieved fully yet, but even the last person on the network is now a 0.02% owner. Um, I mean, stake validator on the network. And you go to number 35, you get a 0.43%. Uh, that... The 1% basically starts at number 27. So we're getting there, guys. I think this is amazing. The community has done well. I don't know who chased this. Was it solely the community or other validators or the FET uh, people? I think it's a, a combination of everyone working together to see that we achieve this decentralization. Some of the advantages that come with it is that Fetch can finally enable itself on IBC, which is the Cosmos network. So you allow this seamless transaction of these tokens between the different networks that are connected on the Cosmos ecosystem. And... That being said, this was this interesting tweet tweeted by Cosmos, the Cosmos ecosystem. The Twitter handle is at Cosmos ecosystem. You can see number one here, update on the Cosmos station, October 25th to October 31st. Of course, they're saying October because historically the Fed, the uh, cryptocurrency space has been bullish in October. So that's why it's called October sometimes. So you can see Akash, these are ecosystems on the cosmos network um they're very well known band protocol uh bitcana i guess that's different i mean that's new cosmos network iris network secret network but what i wanted to note here you guys know all these names osmosis DeFi, cover labs DeFi, and all that what you can see here first.ai is officially a sponsor of the cosmosm 1.0 security audit so you can see it's a significant thing that has been recognized as i was saying and then we have see here and then down here you can see stuff uh, star name network so this is essentially i think like your ethereum name service you know on ethereum you can get your name and create a an ipfs file basically a way to access like a web url but goes through the ethereum network decentralized and all that just like unstoppable domains so there's something called star name network and you can see they've indicated here fet or fetch.ai has been added as a community budge so I looked into these guys and essentially that what that's what they do they want to democratize uh, names you buy your name you register it and it's yours forever so i think this could be big business and we see that in other aspects of DeFi, nfts and all that names are going to be very very valuable just like the same way it's hard to get a very valuable url right now or um, even an email address okay so we have another interesting tweet here of course uh first AI reminding us of the agents uh first AI's DeFi agent dap or decentralized ap application is growing guys so the more volatile the crypto market is the more users need protection from impermanent loss so almost 42 million dollars in liquidity is being managed by our agents on PancakeSwap and Uniswap guys what does this mean Okay, so I'll go through this real quick. Check this out. So essentially, this product works right now. You can use it for DeFi, permanent loss, impermanent loss, uh, rug pulls, all that kind of stuff. You can functionally use a DeFi agent on Uniswap and PancakeSwap right now. So basically, this is the interface right here. You have a dashboard. You have the old agents that have been registered. I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. It's really easy. Then triggers, then account. So these are these instructions that were written way back in June. But I'm going to summarize these instructions by basically going through this uh, briefly. So basically, you have your interface here. You have your dashboard. Now on the dashboard, you're linked to your wallet address. Of course, this is your MetaMask address. It could be on the Binance Smart Chain. It could be on um, Uniswap on the Ethereum chain. And then you can add an agent. So I think what's going to happen is that right now there's an agent that's created by Fetch.ai. You can just basically click create. But in the future, as this network, network becomes more democratized and decentralized, you just like things like Uniswap, PancakeSwap, um, initially they created the liquidity pools, but now any user can create their own liquidity pools. I think that's going to be the evolution of these agents. And then after creating an agent, which is right now the existing agent, I think was created by the Fed team for testing this application, you can add a trigger. Now, this trigger you can configure it to be to withdraw your liquidity. So in case uh, you, can, you can set a trigger at a certain price point, or um, so in case someone is trying to flash loan or rug pool so as the tokens are plummeting in price this this agent will actually extract these tokens for you i've used this before in the past it's seamless 
you don't need to be there you automatically do this and then guess what they added a new feature where after extracting these tokens you can add a new a new feature which can essentially swap those tokens for example if you are staking binance maybe uh, uh the bnb token with the binance usd stablecoin it extracts that liquidity pool then you maybe you can set a trigger that it sells the bnb back to uh usdc i mean busd and all this happens without you actually being there um having to fumble around with things so this is extremely exciting to see that the functional use case of the agents basically their their fundamental use case is to make smart contracts smart obviously they do uh, data aggregation and uh, transactions negotiating but they have other functions when it comes to DeFi, when it comes to things like smart contracts and really automating this uh crypto space um uh, removing and reducing all the friction and reducing also the risk that's how important some of these th these products are and these are I've, I haven't seen these products in the crypto space so these are unique products so essentially it means that fetch.ai has the competitive advantage they're building these products now before even most people are aware of the use case uh, for instance if you click if you look at ethereum they were building smart contracts before uh, many people could even conceptualize the idea of smart contracts or how to go about um, what we see smart contracts as they are right now so we're talking about a time where these smart contracts actually automate it so all this friction is taken out knowing transaction hashes knowing your address uh transferring your tokens to an exchange taking them out to decentralized exchange converting them this whole process can be automated and this is what is being set out to do so for those that are new to fetch.ai i urge you to try this especially if you're into DeFi, because this can actually this is a practical solution that can actually that can actually help you so if you're on the binance smart chain or ethereum if you're staking in uniswap guys uniswap i'm not touching that the fees are like I don't know a hundred dollars two hundred dollars so you can try out by using a uh, pancake swap which is a banner smart chain um, automated market maker you can try this out and you can actually you will actually see your liquidity for example if you go to trigger you can add a trigger and say you can say uh, withdraw liquidity you can click next so I created an example here. For example, if you go to the Binance uh, pancake swap, you can copy a contract address where you staked your liquidity. You can basically come here, paste the con paste the contract address here, and you will literally see your liquidity tokens being displayed there because it will look into the contract and know your activity. Of course, I don't have any stake there, so you won't see anything. So guys, this is a product that really works, and I think this is really exciting stuff that's going to take this technology to another level, including collective learning and other stuff that they're building like the decentralized delivery network all right guys that's all i want to talk about today essentially looking at the evolution of this space and hopefully the new type of smart contracts that will be actually smart all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one bye bye